The Tennessee Poison Center says it's been getting a lot more calls about children and cleaning supplies. Operators have answered thousands more calls since the quarantine started, a 20% increase over normal. Almost all are parents calling about kids and disinfectants. And tennis reporter Cole Sullivan took a look at this and spoke to poison experts about why it's happening and some advice for parents. No school and mom's cleaning more has turned out to be a dangerous combination for Tennessee's kids. We have seen an increase in children going to the hospital. Nina Bowman is the director of the Tennessee Poison Center. We'll get hundreds of calls about um, about disinfectants, hand sanitizers, bleaches, because those are things that, that kids really get into. 32% more calls about bleach poisoning, 5% for hand sanitizers, a 275% increase for questions about all-purpose cleaners, and it's almost all at home. We're seeing kids get into more things accidentally. Some products are more dangerous than others. She says kids tasting all-purpose cleaners and Lysol wipes may not be as serious as ingesting concentrated bleach, for example. If you get too much of it, you could really have a serious situation with small kids. What can parents do to try to keep their environment safe for kids. Keep things up in a way out of the reach of children, no matter what it is. Essential oils, disinfectants, bleach. Make sure they're in cabinets with the caps screwed on, you know, really well. But during this time of coronavirus quarantine, she says do not be worried about cleaning. It's not about not having these products in your home. It's about storing them safely in your home. Stay safe from germs and the sprays that kill them. Cole Sullivan, 10 News. The Poison Center is available 24-7 to answer questions or handle emergencies. It's a great number to have, and we have it posted at our website, WBIR.com.